Hi and welcome back. My name is Adrian Sherry and this is the next in a series of recordings on using QCAD. So we've set up the, uh, the page and we've drawn our first reference line. So next thing in doing, oops, don't want that, press escape and that takes us out of that. Um, you'll notice now that I've now saved it so onto file and save given it a name um, and it's defined as a DXF file so that's save that. Next is to go through drawing the next line so again illustrating how the snapping function works with this reference point you can see here now that we've got a line if I go to the end of the line the text at the bottom right changes to end this means that the next line will snap to the end there so if I do that you can see that it's located on the end point or if I hover near the middle you can see it changes to the middle so that's the middle point of that line so if I want to draw a line attached to the middle of that line I can and again down there now this is works on auto at the minute but you can actually force it to middle points or end points if you want and that's done with these different options down here so that is the end point so and you can see it's letters after is SE so if I move the cursor around here rather than clicking on the button if I just type SE you can see there that when I move the cursor near to that line and it doesn't matter whereabouts on the line it snaps the crosshairs to the end point of the line obviously which side of the middle depends which end so you can do that or center so again the letters actually make sense so s for snap c for center e for end you get used to it quite quickly so again if i do sc it's now snapping to the middle or snap center I don't want a straight line, I want a circle for the wheel. So if we go back, I want a circle. Right, I don't want it on midpoint, I'll just do it on um, a grid for the minute. So we can go back to, see it's, it's working off the grid there, we can actually set it back to auto with that, and that's when you get the text underneath. So circle. Oh, that's still on straight line. Circle, here we go. So again, you can do different things. You can do a center and radius, center and different points, um, concentric, tangential. So again, if we go on to center and radius, for example, it then comes up with this extra option for you to put in the radius. So on the radius, we're doing full scale um, my wheel's four foot three, so what's that? Forty-eight, fifty-one inches. So my wheel is fifty-one inches in diameter. Obviously, that's easy to convert to uh, a radius, twenty-five and a half. But on typing all of this in QCAD, you can actually put in mathematical um, things. So rather than if it was a bit more complicated, then you might want to do it. So, for example, 51 is my radius, uh, diameter, but I want the radius. So if I do a divide by 2, you can see there that it's saying that it's uh, 25 and a half. So you can actually do simple calculations. And there's my 4 foot 3 diameter wheel, and it'll snap to the grid. So I've got a centre point and the radius. But I don't want that, so I'll just escape from there because I wanted to put it um, tangential to the line. So what I'll do is I'll define two points and I'll put one on the grid there. And then the second point I want, so you can see we can create a, whatever size circle we want, um, but I want it fixed at 51 inches. So if I press enter, go to my command line, ampersand for absolute positions, I don't want any shift in X, and I want 51 inches in Y, and that draws my circle. 
So now I have a circle drawn. That's going to be my first wheel. If I escape back up to the home, or you can press the arrow at the top, reset, QQ. Um, so I've got a line and a wheel. Now if I select that wheel, you can see there it's given me four quadrant points in the center. We then have uh, move copy. Again, MV is a shortcut, so rather than pressing that, I can just do MV. Um, it says, you can see down at the bottom, it's giving you instructions of what the next step is. So this is moving, I've selected the circle, the wheel, and it's saying the reference point. So this is the origin of what point you're moving. So you could actually choose one of the quadrants um, or the center. So in this case, I'm going to, the reference point is going to be the center. So I select that and the target point. So if I hit enter, the target point, it's a six foot six um, wheelbase. So my target point, again, enter, so I've got um, I can uh, type in the command line. So again, ampersand. This time I'm moving it in the x direction. Six foot six is uh, seventy-two plus so seventy-eight inches. So seventy-eight inches along and zero. Uh, so if I press enter now. And then it also gives me options for multiple copies. So I can put in two copies. OK. Go back to the origin. And so now I've got my three wheels. Quick save. And there's the start of our tender drawing.